Previously on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. <laughs> I'll just head straight that away toward the swampland. God's like, ugh. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. Thanks, man. I was like, what about the other two dudes in my party? Hey, man, I don't judge, all right? It's the year of loving you, you know what I mean? If you need a six person in your crazy uh, six-way orgy, just hit it, hit me up, all right? You got my number. I don't. I threw it away. Well, I can give you another one. No, I'm good. And now back once again to my childhood. Hello! Sneako B! Back with some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. When we last left off, oh, I gotta push this door open and oh, saw God natural light. That's right, baby. We are far away from Midgar. The sky is blue, the grass is green. The weird life stream stuff is also kind of green. It's a goddamn beautiful world out here. And we're gonna fuck it all up <laughs> by killing the wildlife. Take this, you stupid orcs. Ah! Yes, we have now finally gotten our huge open world for Final Fantasy VII, and it's amazing. Like, look at this. Look at that big fucking bridge thing. I can go up that and run across it. There's a thing in the distance I see that I can go to. There's people out here doing stuff, like houses and things. The constant mention is the Republic. The fuck is that? Is that a tank? But as we make our way down to the swamp, we learn that, oh no, there's a big fat serpent out there waiting to eat our asses. Better go grab ourselves a chocobo. But God damn it, Billy, he doesn't have any chocobos for us. They've all been taken. So it means we got to go wring ourselves a wild one. Or well, one that they took in and then has become wild again. But still has the saddle and everything. Leading to a cool little Metal Gear style mission of me sneaking up on him, tossing a rock in and hopping on his back. And then we become friends. Probably because Cloud looks just like him. Hey, also Chadley's back and he's like, hey guys, you want a boatload of gameplay mechanics? Here you go. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, he is our open world man. Showing us all the cool shit we can do in, out in that world. But why do that when you have VR? <laughs> That's the next step for humanity. Fuck the outdoors, we go in virtual reality. And yeah, now the world is opened up and there's a billion things to do and I can't wait to freaking do them. But anyway, last episode, uh, DM Dude 2000 said, you guys know Chocobo Sam? Yeah, he's great. He helped us out putting Cloud in a drink. Cause he killed my parents, crickets. So can we buy some Chocobo clothes? <laughs> I know, right? It's like, what the, what? <laughs> what? What is this deep, dank lore about Chocobo Sam? Sam, what did you do? What the hell? I must know. I, I, I gotta know. What is happening? What's going on? That is definitely not the uh, lore I was expecting to hear in relation to any of the characters from the last game. Remember that goofy guy with the beard? He had a thing for flipping his coin and like hitting on the ladies. Yeah, he fucking killed my parents. <laughs> what the shit? And you're like, wait, hold on. So what you're saying is that I can put a freaking tutu on my chocobo. Where can I sign up? <laughs> but DM dude, uh, thank you so much for your hilarious and morbid comment. And it's that reason you are coming to the day. By the way, you guys also brought up, apparently there was something I missed back, back over in the swamp area. I kind of figured there's probably more stuff over there. I didn't hang out for, for very long, but uh, don't worry, I'll, I'll head back there and check it out. By the way, how are you guys enjoying this game so far? You know, without spoiling anything, obviously. Have you guys been liking it a much? I sort of like I need to ask. I haven't actually been seeing as many uh, comments from you guys on these past few videos, which sort of surprised me a little bit. I think a lot of people are probably trying to play the game first themselves, more than likely. But I feel like I got a lot more like comments from people during the, the remake playthrough. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just the open-ended nature of this game. I'm not really sure, but I'd love to hear from you guys. I always love hearing you guys, you know, your thoughts and stuff and uh, how you're enjoying the game or what, like, you know, it means you seeing FF7 done this way. Because, dude, like, this just, just... I feel like for any FF7 fan, this shit is, like, fucking crack. <laughs> it's unbelievable how amazing these freaking remake sequel games they've been doing, how good they've been. Like, I still can't believe it. I can't... I still can't believe this game's fucking real. But I want to know, am I, I'm not the only one here, right? I'm not the only one out here thinking this shit, am I? I can't be. Come on. So let me know. Let me know if you guys are uh, liking the game, what your, like, impressions have been, and or any other goofy funny shit that you guys usually post. I always love hearing from you guys. But all right, so uh, we got ourselves a chocobo. Uh, that means that we can finally go out and do some stuff. We've also got a bunch of icons, my Ubisoft icons. Oh, by the way, I noticed this while running around earlier. Look, <laughs> oops. They might have uh, double textured this spot a little too much here. Honestly, with how vast the world is and how many like 
like different plants and foliage there is. Uh, I'm surprised it's not more of that. But it really is like a truly dense looking open world or, or maybe I should say overworld. I don't know, the, the, I, the only reason I've been saying open world specifically, even though it does seem like it's sort of blocked by zones, right? Cause like we're gonna go over there and the mithril caves are over there. Is that the dev said that areas were essentially connected seamlessly. So I, 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 I think it is and isn't because at no point during this game are we ever going to get an actual airship that will let us fly over this. That's going to be, that'll be for the last game, right? That is when I think it will truly be like, oh yeah, the sky is the limit. You can go goddamn anywhere. But in this game, I still think you're relatively uh, relegated off to uh, separate zones. And they feel seamless because PS5 loading times and shit, right? But I really have to give it to them. Like the amount of foliage and shit and just how good stuff looks is like legit amazing. Like trees look so fucking pretty. I'm like, it's a little, again, little sparkles and stuff. It's like, fuck man, it's so cool. Anyway, let's uh go talk to uh, uh Billy's sister. So is, she got some shit. And I, I keep seeing these little things fly across the screen. I think it's like the game like or is it the live stream pointing me in the direction? It's almost like an Elden Ring thing, you know? Where it's like, hey, don't miss this thing over here. Oh, hey, can I just grab these? Oh, actually, I think I got these before. <laughs> Free things! Oh, hey, you're back. I heard you might need some help. You did? Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? Fucking Billy! I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud, thoughts? Man, fuck this. Ask your brother. <laughs> I'm to your parents. Truth is, our parents died in an accident when I was really little. Billy doesn't like to talk about it. Mm. Sorry. We used to go on these family picnics. And after we were done eating, Mom would make flower crowns for me and Billy. I'd wear mine for days. Uh, ask your brother. I would, but it's a gift. He's had to work so hard since we're on our own. I wanted to do something nice for him. Aww. Of course. I promise you we'll keep it a surprise. Ask your dumb brother to do it, damn it. Yeah, how do you know Sam? Ooh, we're getting the juicy shit. I shouldn't tell you this, but he's the reason mom and dad died. That's what Billy says. What? I don't know. He always changes the subject when I ask. He killed them. <laughs> Sam murdered your parents. All right, we'll take the job. Really? You will? The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much. Okay. Head to the Wildflower Plateau. Where is that shit? So that's where I need to go. Through the swampland. So seemingly all the shit I'm about to do is just like completely optional, right? Oh, by the way, now that I've unlocked a chocobo... Uh, these points before I was like, oh, it doesn't look like I can fast travel to them. I actually can. See? Yeah. That's great. Even the little um, the little treasure areas, I can also fast travel to. So essentially all the icons I'm unlocking here are like new fast travel points, which is awesome. That's great. The more, the better. Let's get around more easily. And, uh, you know, if there's like a spot in particular you want to go to. Oh, is that it? Holy shit, that... Whoa, you are not kidding, little girl. That's way the fuck out there. It looks like it's literally on the way to Midgar. Uh, also, I realize there's a ladder over here. I did not go up. Hey, hey, hey. I am rewarded. Woo. We are... Man, fuck all this furniture. Uh, ah, take this table with me. I love physics objects. Ah. Cloud, have you done in any world intel? Shut up, Tadley. All right. Come, Chocobo. Ah, there you are. Oh my God, look at us riding it. Look at freaking Red over here riding this Chocobo. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Why is everyone looking at me? 
This is completely normal. This is what a what a dog person does. Cause that is me. Oh, oh, and then he hops down. <laughs> oh, it's cool. Then it just waits out here for me. Come on, Red, hurry up. Well, how do I work this thing? Uh okay, here we go. Yes. One step at a time. <laughs> One step at a time. Oh god. Oh god. Ah, oh god. Ah, ah. Ah! What the hell? What? Bird up? What? What the hell is the owl? What that owl want? Hello? Owl? All right, I'm coming, owl. Whoa, whoa. Where are you going? Am I trying to catch you? Uh, whoa. What's happening? Look at that. You've stumbled upon a life spring. Why don't you try Chandler. scanning it? See what you uncover. Oh, is that what Access he was guiding to the me to? Figurative database should help us learn about the area. Oh. Ah, yes, it was. Okay. Surveying life springs grant the wisdom of the life stream, revealing new points of interest. Follow a spring seeker owl leads you to a life spring. It's a natural habitat. Could that be a life stream? Oh, the music, bro. <laughs> Da, 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 da. So cool. Dang, he's freaking out around that thing. It's like, look, look, woo, woo. I, think I need to uh, get off the choke, the chicken. Take a fucking piece of that. Or something. Sniff it. Oh, okay. Press. Ugh. Ah. Bring color back to the planet. Ooh, I got some data. The original intel is now available. Surveying life springs allow you to decipher the knowledge of the life stream, revealing regional intel. Uh, touchpad and select Chadley regional intel to learn more about the history and ecology of the area. Oh my god, I fucking love it. I love it. Chadley, did you see that shit? I'm like freaking Okami here. Chadley! Confirmed. Data received. Life springs such as this can be discovered in every region. Their potential energy output is far too minuscule for Shinra to exploit. But to us, they're fonts of intel. I encourage you to seek out more of these life springs. Well, that's awesome. Column of recent history. This humble town serves as a transport hub for the grasslands, hence the distinctive bailey built for the monitoring of commercial and private traffic. During the war with the Republic of Junon, there's the Republic, Shinra saw fit to occupy Calm due to its stout fortifications and strategic value, and it has remained under company control ever since. As it lacks a reactor of its own, Calm is relying on Midgar and its pipelines for a steady supply of Mako, which is stored in a large tank for regulated use. This arrangement allows the residents to enjoy both modern conveniences and a healthy environment, a combination that has attracted many new residents of late. Ten years ago, a significant portion of the town was damaged, though, though Shinra quickly intervened and carried out a comprehensive reconstruction effort. Details regarding the incident and the extent of the destruction are sparse. I'm going to bet this has something to do with why the the people of the town don't like Shinra or like what, what that guy mentioned before, right? Like we have a history with Shinra. So there's two more in the grasslands. This is so cool, dude. Oh, this is so fucking cool. I love it. Okay, I see. Yeah, map, quest. Uh, so the grasslands, we got four uh, side quests. It also tells you how many like little uh, little points you gotta get to to get through all of them, which is cool. I like how they they, they set it up like uh, like materia link slots, you know. So there are six life six six life springs. So wait, shouldn't that be shouldn't there be three then, or shouldn't shouldn't there be six uh, intel? Maybe you need like two at a time. Uh, four proto relics, six combat assignments, and six towers too. God, I love this music, dude. I love it so fucking demon much. So what the hell is this? Okay, oh, the combat assignments. Okay, I'm gonna go jump in there. Go jump in the radioactive water of the life stream, though. So it's gotta be good for you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Woo! Oh, that's nice. If you if you sprint onto the onto the chocobo. It'll actually uh, just start immediately sprinting, too. Whoa, chicken, watch out. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, is this like a... Oh, my God, it's a... <gasps> I've got a goddamn... 
Sir, B actually lets me freaking drift. Oh my God, I can drift the bird. <laughs> That's amazing. It's funny, it's not even in the commands down below. I didn't even, that was probably something I could have done during the demo too, that I, I did not know about. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Slippity slidey. Uh, okay, let's uh, head over here. Oh, I see a thingy. Uh, Sir Chocobos, these tough little chicks lead you to Chocobo stops. I think I must've ran by him though, because <laughs> I'm already here, baby. Oh wait, no, no, no. Oh my goodness, hello, little baby. Don't worry, I'll save your Chocobos chicken spot. His old butt is stuck in the, stuck in the egg or something, I, I love it. Yes. Yes, I'm your friend now. And more important, most importantly, you can do, yes, the thing that we all would, lo we all must do. You can pet the baby. Mmm, he's so content. Look how fat he is. This game's a 30 out of 10. With that, I got a new fast travel point. Also, I think I ran by the, the field intel, or fiend intel. Oh yeah, it's this little area below us. Voracious and venomous. Dangerous being detected in your vicinity. Who the demon Please lord is that? You are prepared before engaging. <laughs> My sensors are picking up. Freaking female Chad Late. Saw her in the demo as well. Cloud. I am your personal monster assessment instrument. But since that's a mouthful, you can call me Mai. Chadley programmed me to assist you by providing detailed analyses of the fiends you encounter. Chadley genderbent himself. I hope I can be of service to you in the many battles ahead. With that out of the way, I'm picking up unusual fiend activity nearby. To procure the biological data that we require, you'll need to complete specific objectives during combat. But don't worry, because I'll be here to help you succeed. Good luck. You fucking better be. The fiends that Chadley wishes to analyze can be found in various locations throughout the world. Defeating these unique beasts and fulfilling certain battle objectives will unlock new trials in the combat simulator. You just can't run for these fights. Dangerous fiends may be in the vicinity. Combat assignments. Oh, oh, cool. This was not in the demo. This little, this little menu. So I can actually see. Pressure an enemy, stagger an enemy, and avoid being poisoned. How the hell do I do that? I guess from poison shit or just kill them fast enough. The pungent odor that these fiends release when threatened is so effective at driving away predators that their population has exploded. This particular. Hey, get ready, fucker! I've already gotten poisoned. Perfect. God damn it up. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. Uh, let's see. Rare toxic rat variant. It's extremely aggressive nature and overly potent venom allow it to remain undaunted in the face of creatures multiple multiple times its size. So what is element weakness to pressure it? Okay, ice. Who here got ice? Luck, the data we here will like this. Uh. Oh, I killed it though. Oh, I'm doing too much damage. That's just gonna. Yeah, that's just gonna kill it. They died too quickly, though. It's the problem. Let me try again. Let's try to avoid being poisoned. I guess you can avoid being poisoned if I just kill them, like, really fucking fast. Ah! You will not touch the ground! Don't you fucking touch me! Uh, uh, uh. Then now I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to avoid getting poisoned for this first one. Oh, I pressured one, I guess, at some point. Uh, yes! Yeah, all right, I did it. You managed to complete all intel objectives. And that gives me more experience, party experience when I get them all. Nice. Fun. I like it. I like it. You can actually teleport back here too, right? Yep, you sure can. And when you, it's cool when you fast travel in this game, you can choose whether you want to be on foot uh, or chocobo when you arrive, which is a really neat feature that I, I never really would have thought about too much. That I'm glad they included. I guess we probably should go and get some of these like these towers here, because they're just gonna reveal more icons for me. 
I'm fucking booking it, brother! Oh god, these fucking stupid birds! Try to bird kick me, you mother! Ow, 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 ow! Oh! So that's what happens. Also, I realized I didn't assess you before. With the fire and ice. That was the bird kick! He bird kicked me! A fucking demon dare you! Die! Woo! This shit out of my house. All right, time to plug and chug. Intelligence aid. What was that for? Gather world until five separate locations. Woo! Bunch of shit over there. Across the across the swamp. There's a lot of stuff in this area. That's a lot of little nodes to get. So there's actually not a reason to have to climb this. I guess it's a chest or something. Ah, just some boxes. Ugh. With Moogle medals. Fun. All right, get over here, Chocobo. Let's go. Adventure awaits us. I guess we can go over and just get this thing too. It's pretty close by. Oh, treasure hunting with Chocobos. When the question mark appears above the head, buried treasures nearby and waiting to be sniffed out by your feathered friend. Uh, hold to sift the air and use the rice stick to face the scent. Once you face the in the direction, it will become visible. Follow the scent and down to excavate. Aha! Sweet treasure! Nope, nope, nope. nope over here. Come on. Nice. Such a cool... Cool mechanics, man. Such such smart mechanics. We so fun. Hello, owl. Hello, burbs. Hello, mountain. We could always run away Hello, other out. deadly burbs. <laughs> ah, bah, ah, ah, ah. There's some funny music for some reason. Or is this the swampland music? <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, they also got a bunch of natural materials in this area. All right. Pretty. What's the chat like? Cloud, by analyzing the life spring data, I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. This chip likely contains an exceptionally rare formula. I recommend searching for it. What? New excavation site located? What the fuck? Cool. What? Oh my god. Didn't just give me lore this time. Dope. Wait, how? How'd you get up here? <laughs> now we gotta leap down. Ah! As you know, it's probably be faster if I just uh, fast travel. Oh, there's a there was a fucking chest here I missed. Sleek saber. Oh, is it the one that was in the shop? It is. Well, that's handy. They did mention that if you happen to miss it out in the world or something, you could just buy in the shop. I kind of figured it'd be like like after the fact. I, I assumed that this was like, oh, this is one you can only buy in the shop. And then, you know, if I happen to miss it along the way, then I can buy it later in another shop. But no, it's like you could buy it now or you could just find it later and save yourself the money. So that's that's cool. Um, so Republic era blade polish to a refined shape and sheen. So uh, fire fireball blade, uh, fire and lightning was while slicing a foe can use while airborne. Cool. What we got ATB charge rate up. Uh, performing actions by 10%. Unrelenting Punisher. Increase the number of ex consecutive slashes with strong attacks in Punisher mode. I mean, you already do a fucking shit ton, honestly. In Punisher mode with those slashes. So I'd say this. That's That sounds insanely good. Oh, yeah, that's right. I also got the uh, level 2 uh, uh, healing as well. Should probably give that to somebody like Aerith. Damn, this sword looks really cool. Something, something nearby. Okay. Oh, I'm literally <laughs> around top of it. Pick that shit up. You got a big pot, steaming pile of chocobo shit. 
10 manifestations of the planet. Nice. Expert X Quat Vader. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Hey, what? Love. It seems that a transmitter chip is buried nearby. What is you this music? To sniff it out with the aid of a Where's everybody going? Pinpoint its location. You can ask your bird to dig it up. <laughs> that, let the treasure hunt begin. Do they like boogie it out over there? What's going on? <laughs> yes, they over here. Now this side, now this side, now this side, now this side. At execution points, your Chocobo can sniff out buried transmuter chips. Uh, sniff the air, face the scent. Once you face in the direction of the scent. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's three, too. <laughs> this music, man. Didn't sense anything? Okay, all right. Did did it did 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 it? Oh, here we go. Sniff chocobo. It is that away. There it is. Guys, leave this off to me, guys. You can now transmute a cushion. Oh, dope! Yes, yes. Okay. Cool. That was actually something that. So, oh, this this is amazing. So that, this was actually something you could make in the demo already. So I actually had to find the ability to do this. And fuck this box. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, I found a cushion in the box. I said something elusive. We got. It. Now transmute a windmill gear. The fuck? That's quite the transmuter chip you found. In fact, it was once used in the construction of windmills. Given its rarity, I would not be surprised if someone had need of such technology. Ah, oh, we ran by somebody before who was talking about like, I wish there was a way to start the windmill. What? And was that? That wasn't even like a quest or anything. It was just like some random dude I ran by. Ha! Ah, you belong to me now. A copper bracer. Cool. Oh my god, this is this is amazing, dude. I fucking love this. An enhanced, you know, trains me an enhanced wood. Uh, oh, a, a, a enhanced wood sprite as well, or something. Oh, we crystal level two uh, at our party level. Does that mean our like we can upgrade our weapons further or something? Oh, here it is. Overcoming challenges, helping people in need, and exploring the world, deepen your party's bonds, thereby increasing your party level. The higher this level, the more skills and abilities will be. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right, you get more shit in your folios. That's what it does. Cool. I wonder what affects my uh like my weapon levels up. I guess I just need Oh, I think I have to fill out uh the amount of SP for the weapon or something, right? Yeah, once I've hit 25 SP, then it levels up and I'll get another node. Gotcha. It works a little differently this time. I mean, this time around from the last game. I mean, you still level it up that way, but there was like a whole separate like menu looking thing that looked quite a bit different. I can now make a cushion and smelling salts to wake someone the fuck up. I like how if you, when you made it the first time, you can actually make it with less materials. That's really cool. Oh, look at this. So you can upgrade. You can upgrade what you already have. So literally no reason not to. I have it equipped on uh, Barrett right now. So uh, upgrading will do something apparently. Oh yeah, it's it gives more uh, it just gets better stats. Cool. So this key item here, uh, I need I need a Quetzalcoatl Talon. Key component of the windmills erected by the Republic of Junon. Hmm. Probably a specific enemy. Oh, I can make these two for a fucking shit ton of experience. Ugh. Oh yeah, check materials. Here we go. A sharp talon that fell from a legendary flying fiend. Found it found in grasslands. Huh. Found in this one has found in grasses, but it's got a little arrow next to it. I wonder what that means. Can I search through my enemy intel and find it? I wonder if it would tell me. Yeah, not seeing it. I wonder if you if you figure out what monster drops it potentially, if it would actually eventually just like tell you, oh yes, it's dropped by the, the doodleberry. Alright, let's go to this tower now. Here we are. We got some shitheads. I want a fucking demon. Darn it! Ow. You're dead. Uh, Taste the power of my new skill. Oh god, I'm getting eating. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, Clyde, doing all right? Oh, blah, blah, blah. Alrighty, where's my big button? Oh, is this one actually up up the tower this time? Oh, there's a chocobo stop over there too. Sure is. Always in the same place. Okay, we got two little things over here. Ah, it seems like there's always Moogle medals at the top of this. Feels like a funny place to have a uh, a stop here. 
There's like a tower right over there. So I guess you want to rest your ass. Not right, little baby chocobo. Not that you need to rest your ass. You already have your ass rested into something else. Now spin. He's so happy. Oh my god, this music, man. This is like a a lighter, like like flute version of the overworld now. So fucking pretty. God, I can't wait to buy this game's soundtrack. I'm gonna buy the shit out of it. All 800 billion songs they have. I don't. I don't know if this is actually a different version, different song, or if it's part of the same overworld song. Ten checks of iron. Oh, damn. Oh, interesting. And actually, just realized it tells you in the menu too if this is that. I found this through a tra transmuter chip. That's what the little uh, dig icon means. Oh my god, more things. There's so many things, dude. Something to sniff out. And that's not a complaint. It's not like there's like, oh yeah, man, it's just like, you know, three things in the whole the whole map to sniff out. And it's like a potion and another potion. An ether onion, my favorite. Uh oh. Hi there. Okay, friend enemy, enemy from using quick nap. Uh, stagger enemy and defeat all of them within time limit. All right, sounds good. What we got? Rare Dimensagora variant that grew nearby a life spring. Cr extremely timid. It will panic at even the slightest tremor. Okay, so we got to uh, hit him with the elemental weaknesses. Playing enough damage will ca cause it to nap, but hitting it with a powerful offensive spell will wake it up again. Hit this shit. Uh. Ow. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful, that shit fucking hurt, bro. Master this shit. Uh! Get from here, Rit. I got this shit. Eat this. Oh, damn, I didn't put him using quick nap. I think we have to hit him with just a lot of spells. Uh! Weapon leveled up. Shut my trying to. Also, ow. Okay, staggered. All right, we're good so far. Yeah, just keep juggling them enough. They don't, they won't have a chance to use their move. Uh, uh, I'm fucking soaring out. You do not touch the ground. Uh, there we go. God damn, this is so fucking fun. I love this, man. I absolutely love this. This is so, so damn enjoyable. Got another life spring. Show me the way, Mr. Owl. Woo! How many looks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of the fucking live stream? Woo! 39! Woo! Wait, really? No! Fuck you! Oh. Flora and fauna of the grasslands. In stark contrast to the barren, mako ravaged outskirts of Midgar, the ecosystem of the grasslands remains relatively unscathed. Streams flowing from the certain central mountain range nourish the lush meadows below, which sustain a diverse range of species. Ran ranchers and farmers also benefit greatly from this bountiful environment. Vast wetlands make up mo much of the southern region. In days past, boats and chocobo's chocobo carriages were a common sight, but as most goods are now transported by sea of air, Traffic through the wetlands has steadily decreased. More, moreover, as an immense man-eating serpent dubbed Midgar Sormer has been sighted in this area of late, few dare to brave the old trails. Even those capable of evading the gargantuan snake may yet fall victim to one of the many inescapable quagmires. Cool. Ah, okay. I have now have another choice here. Magic Pyro plus 20. Ooh. Ooh, that's, that's a lot. Hmm. And then the Buster Sword now has... Uh, improved Punisher. Increased Punisher damage, strong damage by 10%. Hmm, it didn't give me another node, though. I guess I have to get another level higher or something to get, like, another another one of these old nodes. Debuff extension. Increase the duration of inflicted detrimental status effects. Okay. Enhanced Tempest. Increased Tempest damage by 15%. Uh, weapon ability damage by 5%. Enhanced Overcharge. Ooh. Actually, I like that. And then weapon ability damage plus 5%. All right, not too crazy. I thought when I when I like level this up, it actually could be like another node. Okay, time to rest on my cushion here. Uh, take a big old freaking fat shit. Uh, uh, 
Oh, I feel so much better. I shot so hard the cushion went up inside my body. This feels like a little beach area down here. I don't know if there's anything really to see. Cans and a big ball. This almost feels like there'd be this, this involves some side quest or something. It feels too. What the hell? Yeah, seriously, what are these? These huge balls. Feels too conspicuous to not be, to just be nothing. Okay, we got the little uh, phenomenal intel coastal lookout. Let's go check that out. Whoa. Hey, Cloud. Do you notice any sparkling minerals nearby? That thing? These are known as guide stones, crystals that direct travelers to shrines to the divine. The stones emit light when they shatter, producing an illuminated path. If ever you're lost, try smashing one. Following the light should lead you to a sanctuary set to honor the tutelary deity of a given region. The shrines contain untold divine knowledge, slumbering within massive crystals. I can use this knowledge to strengthen your summoning materia, so I encourage you to seek out said sanctuaries. Okay, cool. Just give him a fucking kick or some shit. Ugh. The grasslands are home to Titan sanctuaries. In yep. the age of myths, when Titan rose from his subterranean prison, he created a massive earthquake. Thus did a vast swath of land rise from the sea, becoming the grasslands. Cool. Titan Sanctuary Alpha. Sanctuaries contain the crystallized knowledge of summons, which will strengthen your summoning materia. The path to a sanctuary is lined with guidestones. Break one to release our light that will lead you to the sanctuary. Yes, I just figured that out myself, game. Thank you. So this is actually technically what you can actually use to weaken uh, Titan so you can beat him. Same way. I'll stick my fist in there. Jenna, what the fuck do I do? This is positively incredible, Cloud. I can't recall ever seeing a crystal this caliber before. To think the secrets of the divine dwell within. I cannot wait to see what sort of intel our analysis will yield. You'll need to synchronize with the crystal before I can extract data on the deiform entity. I'm counting on you. Do I gotta press triangle again or something? Examining a summoning crystal reveals memory matrix. A series of points will appear in order and you must memorize their positions in necessary timing. Uh oh. It's actually a little different. The points will then disappear and you must make inputs at the correct times to replicate the matrix. We see will weaken the summon on its combat trial and strengthen its corresponding, corresponding materia. Oh, oh, really? Oh, okay. So, so even if I had beaten Titan in, the, in his Giga Chad hardest dicks version and got his materia, uh, he still wouldn't be that strong until I start doing this. Funny. I do hope that there is a reason to kill him in his super hard form, you know? Okay, let's give it a try. I think it's kind of like the Squats minigame, if I if I remember right. The way it like it shows you the the, the inputs and then they disappear. Uh huh. Yep. There we go. Cool. Stars off easy. Holy shit, Cloud, you fucking see that? Yes. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. The materia you don't have. So what is up with this thing? Phenomenal Intel Coastal Lookout. The proto relic should be somewhere in your vicinity. It may not be in plain sight, but I trust you'll be able to find it. I see a monkey. Is it the monkey? Hello, monkey. Door's locked. What is this place? A fucking prison or something? Is there a way to get in here? I see a thing. I can climb a wall there, maybe. But... Oh. Hold the fence. I ran right by it. What the fuck is that? Appreciate. <laughs> Hell yeah! I appreciate it. Wait, what are we appreciating? When something appreciates. <laughs> Isn't those two goofballs from the last game? Or I'm sorry, three goofballs. Which means we can finally go legit, gentlemen. Today we're founding Vex Business. Oh yeah, it is. They're back. Ba, 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 do recompense. Remix. 
Oh god, they brought the fatty oh, back too. Oh shit! Oh shit! Daughter! Daughter! What the hell are you people doing here? Who are you? Oh hell no! Don't you dare act like you've forgotten Vex bad. <laughs> Yeah, you walked into our home and beat us to shit. We hadn't even done nothing. That was chaotic, man. That shit happened, bro. You're responsible for the destruction of our charitable organization. Oh, are we? News to me. What t did you find? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Yes, that's why I'm asking. I mean, I would too. And it looks like crap, but... It's definitely pulsing with a ridiculous <laughs> amount of power. Once we flip it, we'll be swimming in lakes of gill. Hey, Cloud, isn't that... Hand it over now. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Midgar isn't big enough for us. We're taking our operations worldwide. We've gone legit. We're Funny how you decided to do that the moment I'm doing it. They're special kind of stupid. Hell yeah, they are. If Shinra can take over the world with Mako, then all we gotta do is find our own treasures, and then we'll be on top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna appreciate all the things. Hand it over, bitch. Hold on. Now you're after our treasures. You guys got a nail bat. Give me your nail bat. We found it. I need it back. Yeah, we're the only ones who can appreciate it. <laughs> Hand it over. Now. Ha! You really think that's enough to intimidate the likes? Uh, no, please, it's all yours. It's so Play dead! Play dead! Oh, we're freaking out! Now listen here, numbnuts. I got a foolproof plan. I call it... Use a decoy! Yeah! Oh, decoy. 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 So, who's the decoy? All of you, that's who! Yeah. Ha! <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> it's been an honor. If you survive, meet back in the hideout! Damn it! Wah, wah, wah! Here we go! Oh god, oh god. <laughs> Oh god, Bert. Bert's so built like a fucking truck. Oh god, blah, 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 blah. Ah, Bert, please, I'm sorry. Ah. Right. Ugh, all right, Butch. Remember our Bex Bass? These guys are weak to fire. I'm gonna scan all of them, though. We'll have the opportunity. Oh, shit. <laughs> this music, dude, what the fuck? Oh no, 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 let me scan you. He was hired, hired as the gang's muscle, but he was brought as an official member not long after this. His special skill is yelling very loudly. He's learning how to pl properly play dead like his compatriot. To become pressure, he's unleashing more powerful attacks than his twister and wall. Did he get me? Oh, I missed me. Just look good. Oh, God, I fell asleep. I'll show you what I can do. Oh, wait. Don't kill Burke. Don't kill Burke. Don't kill Burke. Don't kill Burke. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. I need, I need ATB. Give me the ATB. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, the game is so, thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you. They're, they're smart. They're smart. They, he, he had like so little health left. All he needed was one tap, love tap from Tifa and she didn't do it. That, that or he will not die until I hit him, which is perfect. Cause they probably thought, oh yeah, don't want to miss your opportunity to be able to scan everybody. Until I, until I get my assessment material leveled up, you know, where I can scan everybody at once, then I can just do it in one small swoop. All right, I think that's everybody, right? Yes. Let's switch it up. Okay, now we can kill him. I'm a face, dude! Uh, uh materials improved enough that more potent spells available. For example, the ca in the case of fire spell, the potency is increased from fire to fire to fira, and finally to most powerful faraga. Uh, yes, yes. I thought, I, I thought I already done that at this point, but I guess not. But to fuck you, fuck you up, bro. Hold on to this, Bert. Don't look at me. Uh. 
Got a bottle of adrenaline, baby. Oh. My readings indicate the proto rel is on the move. Would you mind updating me on the situation? Bandits beat us to it. Oh? I see. Fortunately, I've already ascertained the proto relic's destination. Would you mind heading there? Oh my god, I fucking jam it! No, 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 Ow! Bleeding out, bro. New Pro Relic Geo information received. He's way the fuck over there? Damn, he really hauled ass. Damn it, chuck a ball at hand or did he just, just sprint it? That is really far over there. Ow, these guys are... <laughs> nah, they're fine. <laughs> They look pretty dead. I think Burke actually is dead. Uh, uh, super fucking dead, bro. And the, and the last game, when I went back and revisited in live, in, on the live stream, I, I tried to carry their dead lifeless bodies through the uh, loading point of the game. I want to see if I could like take them with me. I couldn't do it, though. Couldn't do it. I had to push them through a little tunnel, and every time I try to go in the tunnel with them, with, with them like stuck to me, they'd always like face through me. But it was fun to try. God, look at this big ass, beautiful world. Look at it, full of radio towers and fucking demon dogs. Wow, <laughs> 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 shit! Just a combat trial. I think it was also going to point at that divine thing I came across too, because that was not on the map. Oh, I just ran across a little baby. Hi, baby. Where you going, baby? Oh, hello there. Thank you, baby. That's a good baby. Who dares graffiti the cho the, the little baby spot? I'll find them and kill them. I break for chocobos. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good baby. Um. He's so funny. He's so fat. Ooh. We're in monster territory now. Is that the rare alpha dunk? I think those guys were in Junon, right? It is. Maybe they brought them over from Junon and put them over here. It is. That or you can run into the same enemies more than once. But I'm going to bet there are probably different enemies in that uh, spot in Junon. Look at his fat ass. These guys can be pretty tough, I remember, so I got to be careful. We till fire and ice. That's right. If you not, if you uh, perfect parry this guy, he'll like fall on his ass too. Ugh. Damn, Red is fucking crazy. Red is pretty damn powerful when he gets really juiced up here on his uh, vengeance mode. Nice. Roar! Give me that party exp. That was a very impressive battle just now. Shut up, Chadley. Well Based on the battle data you provided. I was able to generate a new virtual combat trial. Horror oh, on the range. And I helped too. Where the deer and the antelope fuck. Go on. That sounds just delightful. Thanks. Thank you, Chadley. I've developed a new way to get your ass beat, bitch. No, I wouldn't be surprised if they put some super secret shit out here if you're like your chocobo to, to sniff up, you know? I'm gonna go sniff up the ultimate weapon or some bullshit. I kind of love him for that, to be honest. What the hell? Jade Wind Hill. Ah, another cache. Bottle of ether? Boxes! What in the fuck is that, dude? Oh god. Is that Mog House? Some that weird shit. I remember seeing some of that in the trailers. They brought that shit back from fucking the weird arcade game that existed in the Golden Saucer. Where you fed a Koopa until he literally got laid. Holy shit. What in the hell is this gonna entail? Pop inside a mushroom-shaped mog stool to peek at, at, get a peek at the lives of the fantastical creatures who dwell therein. That mushroom. That mushroom. Do we dare? Dude, am I about to go into fucking Winnie the Pooh's land if I go in here? I don't know. That's what I'm- I'm getting some- getting some vibes here. Getting that- getting that feeling. Hey, Sora, would you like to play a mini game? Sure, why not? <laughs> Sora shows up. Cloud, no! <laughs> Don't do it! Don't do what? Ah! 
Oh my god. What it's the? so what the My tripping balls are so beautiful. Welcome to our Moogle Emporium. What the fuck? Though, I'm sorry to say we aren't open quite yet, and I'm not even sure when we will be. Dude, I just swear that mod was talking to me. Those Mooglets are refusing to come back, and we can't do business without them, Kubo. Oh my god. Actually, maybe you wouldn't mind helping? The Mooglets are having too much fun to come back on their own, so I want you to round them up. You have to kill them. Then we can open up the Emporium, and everyone will be happy, Kubo. <laughs> Classic, oh my god. Ah, ah, ah. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Thanks so much, Kubo. Cause like I have no idea what to say to this. Oh my god. Chase the movements around the field to lure them back into Mog Soul or catch them and escort them there yourself. Just be aware they're pl playful little tricks. Get hit three times, the game will end. Fuck! I'm gonna fucking kill them all, that's what I'm gonna do. Mischief level one? <sighs> you fucking hit me, I'm gonna fucking beat the shit out of you. Get in there! Ah, gotcha! Watch out for the bombs. Literal fucking bombs. Oh, fucking piece of shit. Right. Get in there. Bombs away! Bombs away. Is it, or catch them yourself? Oh, fucking, how do I do that? Just pick them up? Can't see, I can't see him do anything. It's not like a prompt. Where's a triangle squared or circle and shit? Come on, come over here, fucker. No, stop. We're going off the end. Ah! <laughs> Take this! Die! Okay. Uno mas. Whichever the banana peels. This is banana peel moglet. Moogle it. There we go. Got him! Thanks so much. Get back to work, Moogles! Thanks so much, Koopo. Now we can finally open the Emporium. Here you can exchange Moogle medals for cool stuff. Like ah, this life. is where that plays Everything into. Great. I promise. It's not just some random kid dressed like a Moogle. It's actual Moogles. I don't know how I feel about this, though. It's just freaking me out. Returning all the Mooglets to their mocks will grant new access to a new shop in which you can exchange Moogle medals for a variety of enticing items. Help, helping open more emporiums will increase the Moogles' merchant rank, which will in turn expand their selection. Oh my god. Uh, a ruby, which I actually need for something. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even I, I didn't think about that. It's neat that it marks it in the menu like that. Ooh, no, let's get these, though. Way of the Fist. HP up materia. Incorporate HP up materia into the design line the wear to avail themselves of its magic. That's cool. Increasing a max HP by allows the highest use level of HP up materia. Increasing by level by 30%. That's really fucking good. Okay, I gotta save it for six for that. Cool, but also weird. There are six more mock stools out there, Koopo. So be sure to say hi to my friends if you find one. Also, uh, okay. the more emporiums we open up, the more stuff we'll have for you to buy. That's a win-win situation in my books, Koopo. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking prairie moogles. I wanna get back in your house and steal your shit now. I like Cloud was so baffled by that shit. He's like, <laughs> damn, Maka poison's really kicking in hard, all right? Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. God almighty, what? Oh, I'm like, I'm like, what is this little mark on the map? It's spots I've dug up. Oh, that's awesome. It actually gives you a little mark on the map to let you know that you've gotten this spot already. So there are like, they're not like randomized or anything. There are like finite spots and areas on the map, which mean, which actually is, is a good sign. Why? Why? Because that does mean that there's, that that allows them to uh, easily put sh shit out there that is actually like really rare and like, whoa, like don't miss this, you know? Um, and you'll be able to easily tell if you got it or not. That's really cool. That's actually a really nice uh, addition that, that, or, or thing that they'd add in here to make sure that you've you've gotten those spots and also let you know that there are like, yes, we have, we have actually handcrafted and put this shit out here. It's not RNG. Is there a fucking castle over here? Better days. Much of the Republic's infrastructure has fallen into disrepair after years of neglect. And you know damn well Shinra ain't about to spend a single gill on shit they don't use. Is it true the Republic used to run buses between towns? 
Yes, though that service ended when the war did. In other words, we gotta hoof it, cause Shinra's run by tightwads. Well, I don't mind. It's kind of fun exploring the great outdoors. Yeah. You do you. You do you. It's funny, I think I actually remember... Oh, hey, chicken. Um, I think I actually remember this this uh, bit of fluff dialogue also being in the Junon demo in that area. So it seems like some stuff was actually uh, like it shows that, and they even said this that Junon demo was specifically made for the demo, right? So when we go to Junon, it's actually probably going to be a good bit different than what we uh, what we played. Got another chicken stop. Or Loveless signs, too. <laughs> oh, it's a remix of the, the hollow theme. Yeah, the ending theme to the last game is also the, the, the theme for uh, Sector 5, the Sector 5 slums, Eris area. Ba -da -da -da. All right, where the fuck is Beck? He's out here somewhere. Aha! Pipeline management facility. Oh, we also got uh, Cloud, other bandits over here. I picked up readings from the proto relic. I believe the bandits are close by, and busy preparing a meal. If I'm not mistaken, they may flee nah. openly confronted. I suggest using those shipping containers to cover your approach. Ah. <gasps> make for make a stealthy approach. Oh shit. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, I love this. This is amazing. Give me a stealth minigame all for it. Take over behind the shipping containers to reach the room undetected. Oh my god, it literally is Metal Gear. How could you ditch us like that, boy? <laughs> Don't be an idiot. I had to for the treasure, obviously. I was inconsolable. Uh -oh. Somebody uh -oh. there? No. Was that? Oh, was just my imagination. Oh, you get three it's chances. Okay. But not. Oh, I get it. <sighs> you think that mix gonna come after Damn, us? Damn, that smells good. Damn, that smells good. Okay, we'll hide out here till that merc gets up. We will be, we will be. Can we eat yet? I'm hungry. You ain't ready yet, dingus. We call it well done. Why do we put all these crits around us like this well, anyway? Poorly. Yeah, but I think you got it done. Get over there. Hey, watch out for this dude. Said, you got a puffy hat. Oh, the less cooked, the better. Huh. Okay. We'll hide out here till that merc gives it. Hey, fuckos. If that's not well done, I don't know what is. Presenting the finest food you'll uh, ever eat. Quick, fucking uh, bird! Uh, You're uh, the best, boss! Uh, oh, they love each other. And they left them to fucking so die so earlier. Okay, boys, I can tell you! I like all five of us snuck in here. They didn't see us. Find a way into the building. Okay, probably the stairs, right? It smells so good. It smells so fucking good where the other guys go. Door's locked, okay. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Yellow markers. This is why they mark the world in yellow. Because we're too stupid to figure it out ourselves, damn it. Is this also locked? Yep. Coming in through the roof. <laughs> Surprise, motherfuckers. Oh, they found us. We're so dead. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> You want this thing that bad, huh? Whatever the fuck it is. Not really. Shut up and hand it over. Yes! <laughs> Not really. Then why the hell are you chasing us? Work. Work? Really? You know you could 
can't just tell us who you're working for. Cut out the middleman. Deal with them direct. I don't have time for this. Get them away right now, Buzz! Relax, boys. I've got just the plan. I call it bait in the hook. Yeah! Hook in the bait! So what? Uh, what's the bait? For all intensive purposes, it's you. <laughs> Me? Here, take this. Take the chicken. Can I eat it? <laughs> Tuck it for the gutcha! <laughs> oh, feed the bird. Oh God, Butch, Butch is beefed up. Fuck me. And he's got a spear hawk. Oh my God, he's so fucking buff. Sick on this, Biff. Or Butch, or whatever the hell. Ow, ah, oh, brother. Spear hawk. Avian creatures that nest in the mountainous regions. Does not have a quest to Kodo Town or anything. Piece of shit. What use are you to make? Fucking desire to die. Oh, get out of here, Butch, and your dumb bra. Oh, God, his bird fucking ragged up. Yeah, blah. He ain't beefed up anymore. That was so worth it. <laughs> So, um, Cloud? The proto melon does not appear to be at your location. God damn it! Whatever. You can track it, can't you? I most certainly can. Not only that, I've deduced where the bandits are headed next. And on that note, I'll let you get back to it. Wow, there's a, there's a lot more going on with this quest than I was expecting. Dear Oz, we'll be chasing this far. Okay, they're right down the way. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I suppose the cast the thing I thought was a castle over there is literally calm. <laughs> I'm an idiot. What is that huge building over there? Oh. <laughs> oh, and this is where they are. <laughs> fucking idiots. Hey! Give me that shit, I'm gonna fucking kill you. What you doing with the hideout key? <laughs> Buried it underground so nobody can find it. You idiot! What if some good for nothing thugs break in and we get locked out? Oh, where'd you come from? Save everyone the trouble and hand it over. Not the trouble, anything but that. Just do what he says, boss. Cool it! I still got a trick up my sleeve. A trick I like to call diversionary tactics. <laughs> Okay, you know what to do, okay? <laughs> I bet you couldn't guess who's got it, even if you tried! Uh... Oh. <laughs> His back is glowing. The correct answer is... <laughs> me, me, me! Tactics got a totally diversion. <laughs> so, uh, what do we do now, boss? Is it an obvious? We make a run for it! Wait a sec, boss. What about the game? He ain't going nowhere. Just leave it. Oh, God, they brought their other bandit friends. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, the sick of you fucking bandit dickheads. Don't steal my shit. I'll be mega pissed. Deal with that. Come on, ladies. Ladies are stuck in here fighting too. Hurts, don't it? <laughs> I just heard, heard fucking bear go do a hurts, don't it? You want a hurts, don't it? Hurts, don't it, bitch. That's very funny, Barrett. Hell yeah, Red, I know it is. That's why I made it up. I suppose we all have our off days. I want them to get away. That's the plan. Once they lead us to their hideout, then we hit them. I'm sorry to have ever doubted you. Yeah, you should be. Before you resume your hunt, however, I'll need you to unearth the key they It shouldn't be too tough if you have a chocobo. 
when the red icon appears, it's detected a sense that it warrants investigation. Okay. I mean, is it the thing that's right here? You literally just pointed at? No? Nope. Over there. Oh, come on. You're right. You're right on top of it. Oh, oh, no. It's it's going out this way. Oh, okay. That was the starting point. I, oh, I see. It's a long trail. I see. That's what that, the, the red one goes a uh, good distance. I see. That's what it means. Got it. Looks like you found the key. Great. And in other news, the bandits have stopped running. Let's hope that the fourth time will be the proverbial charm. Fucking better be, I swear to God. Where do they go to now? All the way behind Calm. Okay. Also got some towers out here. Land with your name on it. Yeah, I love how it seamlessly goes in and out of the the, the, the like the overworld themes and then the, their battle versions and fights. It's so cool. All right, what do we got in the area? Ooh, quite a bit. Ooh, cavern life spring. Cool. We got caves and shit, man. Craftsmanship level is increased. I'm gonna make mist high potion and a bottle of ether. I can make ether out here? Nice. Cloud, that data has revealed an intriguing sight. The nest of the Quetzal Quattle, a rare oh. bird native to these lands. Ooh. So rare. I was looking for that. That few have ever seen it. This is a prime research opportunity for us. That's why I need to make that gear. And it is very close by. Classified foes. Once a specific number of life springs has been surveyed, the location of an especially powerful fiend will be revealed. Upon arrival, hold trial to lure out your foe, but be warned, you cannot flee from these battles. Oh, shit. Cloud, you have arrived in the lair of the majestic Quetzal Quattle. Make certain you're prepared before attempting to challenge it. All right, I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be. Recommend level 22 when I'm 19. Let's fucking do it. Actually, you know what? Uh, switch to the ladies. Sorry, boys. Oh, that's right. I have to hold triangle. Come hit me. <laughs> Damn, I was thinking you'd be more bird-like. Much more like a dragon. Oh, God. Yeah, you don't say. Uh, weak to ice. Inflict enough damage by exploiting some of the weakness or pressure. Each time it moves between the air and ground, it will unleash a powerful attack. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. I was getting fucked up. In with the, the alpha version. That'll give her uh, her fist ice, too. Oh, God, he's got all electric bullshit around him. Ow. My we're singing to some shit. We're goddamn dying out here, girl. Why don't you get it? I'm doing some shit. So am I. Ugh. Oh God. Oh Jesus Christ, monkey dicks. Clap. Uh, uh, throw her and uh, throw uh, Aerith in the air, or uh, Tifa in the air. Wait, do I have it? Oh wait, no, no, it's on her move. That's right. Uh, come on, get down from here. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Tifa, go fucking beyond. Divine punishment. Wait, let her finish her thing, though. Wait, what is this? This one, dare, d damage over ac across a huge area. Uh, I think a better wait, actually. Because she's already in the middle of her thing. I don't want to cancel out of it. Uh, and now we can use this one. Do it. On it. On it. Here he comes. Uh, our relationship has changed. Uh. Certain synergy levels can raise the character's limit limit level. 
uh, which can turn can unlock more powerful limit breaks. For example, Cloud can perform cross slash at level one and essentially level two. Also unlock level three limit breaks attacks through your character's folios. Dope. Uh, do it again. Uh, uh. See, so weak to ice. Oh, baby, let's get Shiva out here. Thanks for coming to help. I think I've actually used a summon this whole time in playing. I've just been so focused on everything else. Summons fight alongside you for a brief time. Uh, the gre gradually decreases. These beings have their will of their own, engaged in the fight. However, you can command them to unleash unique spells with ATB. Uh, all right, yep. It's about the same. We need more power. Come on, Tifa. We need, we need more ATB. Here we go. Now do it. Do it again. Need more demon power. Ow. Heavenly strike. Oh, yes. Right in the noggin. Oh, this is going to hurt, bitch. Boom. Oh, shit. Time to get serious. Let's dance, asshole. Finish him! Together, friendship! What? This game's fucking awesome, dude! God damn! This game is fucking awesome. Confirmed. Cancel Quaddle defeated. Oh, Amazing thank God. work as always, Cloud. Your heroic victory over that vicious creature was a feast for the eyes. I suppose it falls to me to make my presence more tolerable. How do you? Volume levels decreasing. Wait. <laughs> uh, now then. Allow me to congratulate you on your victory over that beast. And thank you for the valuable biological data. You were likewise able to obtain something of great import. The beast's talon. I suspect that it can be used in the creation of something astounding. Like a gear. Ow. Oh my god, that fight was, that fight was fucking awesome. Interesting, you could actually do it again if you wanted. I feel like come right out here and be ass. All right, windmill gear. Let me go check and see if I can just give it to them. It might be I have to activate a quest or something in order for it to actually uh, do it. Hmm. If only there was some. Some way to get it moving again. Hmm. Ah, blah, I think we might be a uh, part of a quest. All right, what was the last tower reveal? Just two little spots. Oh, cool. Look at this big ass highway. This is the road we took into Calm. It's actually a little path that goes underneath it, and this heads to where the girl wanted us to go. But I think it's also seemingly how we maybe get over to Beck's hideout. Wow. Look at this area down here. Shit. So fucking cool looking. Damn, the environmental artist did some fucking work on this game, dude. Ah, here are the flowers. And also a bunch of dickheads. Get out of here. Stay away from the flowers! It's like that crazy flower lady from uh, Breath of the Wild. Allow me. The Mandragoras! They hurt! Go on. Go on. Wow, just look at all of them. I've never seen these kinds before. So, know which ones to pick? Yeah. I got this. As much as I want to believe you, your face says otherwise. <laughs> Good thing you've got me here. Thank so God I kept your basket from last game. For the leaf house. Pick flowers using the illustration as a guide. Okay, so not the blue ones. Oh, that's cool. So we got some white in there, yellow and red. Wow. Heavenly. Oops. Oh, let me think on it. Yeah. Is 
then the red, and then the yellow. And maybe also the little green bits? That's a start, but we're definitely gonna need more. Oh, there are little green bits. M maybe. No, those are like, no, no, no. Those are, those are just leaves coming off the other ones. Okay. So cute and soft too. Perfect for a flower crown. Hey, this basket isn't represented at all. There's blue ones in there. I didn't pick blue ones. A few more couldn't hurt. And then the red ones. Like reds over here sniffing Ooh, shit. Oh, now these are vibrant. So you like deep, passionate reds, do you? Going based on the picture, Aaron. Leave me alone. Fuck. I wonder if you go in here and grab like all the wrong colors. Like, what the fuck is that? You had one job. Are you colorblind? All right. That should probably be enough. Let's go get him to Chloe. Okie dokie. How the fuck do I get over to the Bex hideout? Oh, there's Midgar. Still a good ways away. I do not think we can get back over there or in its vicinity. I think you have to take the, yeah, you have to take the highway essentially. Oh, I think that's what this is. So you have to squeeze down here to get there. The business, businessman's hideout. That's nice that they marked that. They realize it's like, yeah, this might be a little hard for some people to come across. It's a little tiny nook here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a, that's a secret little bitch right there. All right, Beck, I'm coming for you. Also, let me first let me kill your oak orc neighbors. That's the building. At one point, it was used for the storage of Shinra property, but the bandits have since turned it into a hideout and probably filled it with traps. Yeah, I see a sweeper in there. <laughs> well, that looks uh, convenient. Hey, boss. I don't get it. Why are we playing dead in the hideout? Obviously, so we can pull one over on the floor. Die! <laughs> Fucking die! Uh, yes, I get they're playing dead, as is the sweeper, apparently. So, like, what do you want me to do? Oh, the switch. This conveniently placed box over these dead guys. Better drop it on them. Disfiguring defenseless corpses. <laughs> Seem very unfazed by that, actually. What I'm trying to say here is, we don't gotta resort to violence. We can talk things out. Like we have like a red hanging out over there. Got nothing to say to you. Sure. Okay, so we may be thieves. But we didn't steal nothing this time. I swear. We found it. And possession is I can't hear you over the freaking epic music. That's a good point. How much? You wish. You wish. Keep dreaming. No. This is you story. Don't say I didn't try to keep it peaceful. You guys met with the wrong legitimate businessman. <laughs> All right, here we go. The sweeper. All right, let's scan back. Too bad. The leader. His unique ability to convincingly feign erudition has won him devoted gaggle of lackeys. The person he is trying to cultivate an air of corporate badasses. Ah. Oh god, this thing's getting crazy. I should do something about him first. Oh my god, he's, he's uh, kind of beating my ass. In a band sweeper that was heavily modified by Beck's Banis, it's equipped with auto repair units. The Thomas weapon serves as a guard for the, ba the Banis hideout. Oh god, Clive, you are almost dead. Huh? 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 No, no, no. Ignore the cute girl. Ah! Oh god! Oh god, Aerith, live! She didn't live! Oh, I hit him with that shit! Oh, come on! Don't overdo it. One of those guys is dead, okay. Here we go. Mind taking over? Gotcha. 
Uh, synergy. Uh, Cloud TV leaping the air and liver spitting attack. Right? Unlimited MP. Yes. Let's do it. Cool. Unlimited power. Oh shit, he was dead. Please die. Oh god damn, doodly. This is a problem. Oh, you got. Oh my god, we died. Holy shit. I got fucking smoked. Damn it. That sweeper was doing work. I, mean, I got more of the enemy materia. Enemy skill materia. It's actually quite good. Because it gives you bravery and faith. Which increases your, I think, your attack and magic. Sonic, boom! Ow. Leave it to me. Ah, booyah, there we go. Whew. Defeat the businessman. Complete. So what the fuck is this thing? We had to go all over the place for it. You gotta let us off the hook. I'll suck your dick. All we wanted was to sell the treasure for some cash so we could stop stealing and start fresh. <laughs> it's always been our dream to start a company and do what it's like. That's why I got the snail bat. We could throw him a bone. 2,000 gil. Yeah, a deal. A deal. A deal. You guys got yourself a deal. Pay them 2,000 gil? No. Okay, fine. What you doing, for you? <laughs> See that, boys? That's how you broke ground. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, no more bandit stuff. You better believe it. From now on, we're earning our money the honest way. As a business. That's business. That's character development. <laughs> <laughs> They're all dancing. <laughs> this game's amazing, dude. I'm president, and you're my employees. Oh, employees? Oh, I'm employees. I'm employees. Wait, what's a boy do anyway? Be a buddy. Work as a servant. Act as a family. Oh, family. <laughs> I always wanted one of those. All right, boys. Give him the uh, heartwarming answer. Littering riches out there, and your president's gonna lead you through it. Let's business. Family. To the press. So you think they've turned over a new leaf? Nope. Who knows? <laughs> That's not scared. Nope. All right, we got the thing, Chadley. What is it? Behold! Ah! What in the hell? I can see the fucking future, brother. What's going on? <gasps> Wu Tai? Oh my god. Is that Gilgamesh? Eyes of fire with purpose. Oh, yet a stripling. One whose metal must be tested. What the fuck? What was that? Chadley, what was that? Cloud! What'd you do to me? I have confirmed that you are now in possession of the Proto Relic. Yeah, no shit. I've already taken the liberty of scanning it and need only analyze the data. Should I happen to pick up other Proto Relic readings, I may request your assistance again. Oh, there is one more thing I should mention. Your device detected a small amount of interference. I can't say for certain, but it's entirely possible that others are looking for proto-relics as well. What for? That's what I hope to find out. I'll be in touch if I learn anything new. What the hell was that? I'm pretty sure that was Gilgamesh, which I don't remember Gilgamesh being in FF7 original. Whoa, cool. All right, I gotta stop. I have to stop. This video's definitely gone on long enough. It's already probably insanely long. Oh my God, dude, this game is so addicting. Holy shit.
It's already been two and a half hours, at least for this recording. And I haven't even gone back to calm yet, bro. There's also still other things on the map here. Oh, man. I gotta, oh, I also gotta drop the flowers off, too. Oh, but we'll save that for next time, all right? We, we, can, we can do that. We can do... I can do that. I can definitely put the controller down. Oh, man. This... I'm blown away. I'm legitimately blown away. This is amazing. This is such a, a fun, beautiful world to explore. This is exactly what I wanted, man. It's exactly what I always wanted for their open world. I'm so happy. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Uh, if you did, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. If you're enjoying these 4K videos too, please, please let me know. Uh, and subscribe for now, already become a picky penguin aboard the SLP. Where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.